In Deuteronomy chapter 27, Moses finally finishes his instructions, his teaching to the elders. And he basically kind of summarizes it like this. After they hear all that he's had to say, he says, now just do what the Lord says. Keep his commandments, follow his instructions. And you know, that's amazing. Um, well, it's great advice for you, great advice for me. It's great instruction for those who give sermons, those who listen to sermons, those anyone who's a follower of Jesus, to not just hear what he says, but to do what he says. Not just to have an intellectual understanding of what you're supposed to do, but to actually allow it to kind of seep from here down into your heart and begin to walk with the Lord in obedience. And that's what Moses is saying to all the elders there in Israel. And that's what the Lord says to you and I. It's, well, it's this kind of thing that, that you and I need to hear over and over again, not just be hearers of the word, but to be doers of the word. And Moses outlines all kinds of the instructions and commands that were given to him by the Lord. It had to do with adultery, it had to do with murder, it had to do with stealing, it had to do with sexual perversion, it had to do with honoring your father and your mother, all the different commands and instructions that had come from Moses, he now kind of summarizes it with just saying this, let's be doers of it, obey the Lord's instructions. And he outlines all of them once again in kind of a summary and the people listen to it. And when he's finished with it, they all say, no way, we're not doing that. No, that's not what he says. They say this, amen. In fact, after each instruction, after each each command, they all say the same thing. Amen, 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 which basically means so be it. And so now they're ready to possess the land. Now they're ready to follow the Lord's instructions. And now the Lord would say to you and I, if we want to possess the land, so to speak, if we want to step into all that God has for us, don't be just hearers of the word but doers. Some Christians get really frustrated, like, why is the Lord using me? Why isn't this happening? And many times it's simply because we're just hearers and not stepping into the land or into that which God has called us to and really being doers of the word. So Deuteronomy chapter 27, not just hearers, but doers of the word.